Um, I'll start. We were just talking some to um, Connor a little bit about how much energy that Collins bring, and he said that it's not even just you guys on defense. You have these high-picked quarterbacks. I see your a little bit. Do you have any like? Has he done anything crazy? Like any funny stories from? just about his energy? Uh, well, I would say for us, one thing I think that's important for us is like before every like scrimmage, we'll get up and shake each other's hand to make sure like everybody's straight, you know, we congratulate each other, be like, let's go, let's get this work. Cause like, we all a family. So we got to come in and make sure we all know that we going out there as a family. So I think one thing that he does is before like a game or a scrimmage, he's going to make sure everybody depths up each other and let everybody know like we all good. Javari Mack is really, uh, you see a lot of praise on Travis Shaw for his work this spring. What can you say about how how he works uh, this spring and how he performed out there in the game today? Travis Shaw, man, Travis been working this spring. I ain't gonna lie, like, his work ethic is just taking off this spring. Um, I would, I, I would just say like I'm really proud of Travis because coming in as a young guy, like you know we all have our ups and downs, but Travis, like he's been taking off. Like him going into his junior year, year three for him, he, he's about to blow up this year, and I truly believe. What was the, the area that you would say he made the biggest leap in? Honestly, just a point of attack, for real. Um, just him with his hands, his eyes, his base. Like, he looks good out there. Like, he's running to the ball every single play. And, and that's just been, like, it's been a whole bunch of stuff that he's improved on. And I would just say I'm proud of him for it. Mac has talked about the need for depth up front with you guys. He's also said that, uh, that Joel Starlings, has had a pretty good spring, yes. so is Ronnie Laura. Can you kind of tell us what you've seen from those guys growing from where they were a year ago? Uh, both Joel and Rodney, and on top of that, Damon, um, they both, all three of them have been just improving, just skyrocketing every single day. You, you'll you see them each day come up on the board. Joel did this, Rodney did this, Damon, he's coming in, he's doing this. Every day you hear improvement from both, all three of the guys. Because, I mean, it's just not just one person, like all three of them working hard, like, so. I would say that's great for this the death period. Jabari, when we were talking to some of the other defensive guys, I guess kind of earlier in the spring, they were talking about Jeff Collins and that, uh, you know, he's want you guys to play, you know, fast, play free. And they were saying that it does feel like more free. Like, would you kind of agree with that? Like, does it feel like you guys are able to, I guess, kind of play with like more explosiveness? And yeah, I would say that for sure. Like, we're, everyone's explosive. Even DBs, from the DBs to the safeties to linebackers to us. Everyone is just flying to the ball. Everyone's free. We all getting sags, all getting picks. We all, and no disrespect towards offense. Offense didn't give us the work too. Like, all praises to them because they, they make it us better each and every day. So, I'll just say, like, we've all just been flying, flying to that ball every day. What is different for you guys up front in the new defense as opposed to before? Honestly, I would say the mindset. Coach Ted coming in, just changing just the mindset for everybody. Like, we all gotta go attack every single day. And that's just been one of the big emphasis this year is go attack. Don't don't hold back, go attack, attack, get to the ball, attack, point of attack, everything's about attacking and playing fast. So that's just been like one of the changes for us. It's just our mindset and how we see and play the game. Speaking of the mindset, can you talk about the vibes in the locker room and how the defense is trying I guess it's still a song that's getting the team zone is the theme song for the spring. Theme song? Uh on a theme song, I mean, I guess you can say, like, Finito by Chief Key. I don't know if you know that song. Like, that song right there, I guess you can say, is us. You know what I'm saying? Because we fired up every day, ready to go get it. And we ain't holding back nothing. So, I'd say that's the vibe of the defense and the offense. And just the locker room here, like you said, the locker room. That's just been the vibe. Like, we, we turned every day. Like, we was ready to play today. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, i say, yeah. Can you spell that for us? No, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> You know, as, you know, as being a senior, being one of the more experienced, we had to lock out of the team. How, how are you going to look to be a leader amongst the group that you're going to look, that y'all are going to look for a lot more production from this season? Well, for me, honestly, like, all the guys, like, we all lead. We all lead in a different way. I say for me, I lead by example. I'm able to help some of the guys out that aren't knowing, like, what, what they need to do. I just give them, like, one simple word, like, let's do this right here. And it, this is a change. And they give me credit, too. Like, like I say, even, like, yesterday at practice, Ruck gave me one tool. He, I did that one tool, and it just changed just how I was doing. So, like, we all, like, have value towards each other for every single, every single thing we do. So, it's not just me. It's all of us. Just what, what, is your, what is your sense of how Amari Campbell is doing? I mean, he's a guy that 
I know you all thought highly of last year. He still didn't play a ton of snaps, and now he's the one to have to play a lot of snaps. Like, do you think he's ready oh, for, for sure. that challenge, yeah. or where does he need to go to get there? Amari Campbell's definitely ready for sure. Like, every single day, he's being the leader, coming in as a young guy, stepping up in his role. He's he's playing ball. Like, he's balling. And him just going to get it every single day, I, I, can, I don't even got really much to say because AC just going to fly to that ball every time, and that's it. So. And he had a good mentor with Seth, the guy. So. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, Seth, the guy. So, he, he passed it down to AC, Power, Mike, all of them. And they all just dogs, for real. Is there something that <clears throat> is there something Coach Monacino has seen in you that he's tweaked that maybe needed to be tweaked that has sort of changed your game a little bit? Uh, for me, he just you know me and Coach uh, Ted we talk every single day. Uh, he just makes sure I'm good mentally because that's where it starts for real. And I say he's he's built this up mentally to make sure we all prepare for each and every day because I mean you can't go play the game and you're mentally right. So Coach Ted he makes sure our mind's good, our body good, he makes sure our family's good on top of that. I like literally today, he was like, I hugged your mom. And I was like, I, that's truly great. Because he was like, that's one of the best hugs I've ever had. I'm like, that's great. You know what I'm saying? Because he's making sure we good mentally. And so that's been like one of the biggest things for that I've seen with Coach Ted towards me. Because that's one thing we all need. I know he was an analyst here last year. And <clears throat> the relationship's different now. But did he get instant credibility with you guys because of who he's coached at the next level? Uh, I mean, he's coached a lot of guys, as everyone knows. I mean, we all. So, <laughs> I mean, but I mean, we, we got to give credit and credit to Coach, Coach Ted came in, he's doing what he needs to do. Good. Thanks, Mark.